today we have a USB DVR. Basically what that is is a device that receives a video signal from one of your cameras and plugs into the USB port of your computer. Uh, most computers don't have an RCA input, which is what you need in order to convert the signal from your camera to your computer. And that's what this device allows you to do. The included software that comes with it turns your computer into a motion activated recorder, allowing you to record the video directly to your computer and access it over the internet. Basically how you would set something like this up, you have your camera here, you have your cables, you plug one end of the cable into here, the other end plugs into the, into the video grabber itself, and then you have the other end that plugs into your computer. So now you'd be able to see uh, everything that's on that camera right on your computer and view it live over the internet. Alright, we have the program installed here on our computer. We're going to double click the Super DVR icon to open the program itself. That's going to bring up the uh, split screen with four cameras here. We don't have any cameras plugged in right now, so there's going to be a blue screen here with the word video loss in when we start plugging in cameras and we're going to start seeing uh, the, the camera view here. Basically to get to the setup menu what we're going to do is click over here to the right there's a, lo a padlock symbol. We're going to click that to log in. The username is going to be system. That's already typed in for you. We're going to leave the password blank. Hit OK. That opens up these icons down here. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to click on the settings icon or configuration icon and from this menu here we can select the disk that we're going to store the recording to either the C or D drive your computer may be different you may have other drives here listed try not to use a C drive if possible because that's the computer's main drive and you could start uh, interfering with the operation of the operating system itself over here to the right we have the settings here for configuring it for internet access uh, you'll want to consult with your router and your uh, internet service provider for the settings that you'll need to input here um, but basically this is the area where you would go ahead and do that. Down here on the bottom there's a checkbox here that says um, motion detection and that's the checkbox we want to have selected to make sure that we're getting motion activated recording on each each one of these four cameras here. These other settings here are for different types of uh, different types of recording. We have one here that says manual record. What that will allow you to do is to uh, schedule a time uh, to, to record uh, the, 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 um, the video from during the day. Uh, we also have uh, the schedule record which allows you to do the same thing. And then we have a, a camera security uh, checkbox. Uh, well that, what that will do is allow you to hide the picture of the, uh, of the video so no one can actually see it when they're logged into the program. So if we were to have cameras plugged in here you wouldn't see the video loss uh, symbol, you would just see a blue screen and it would say, um, I believe it says security. But that's the basic run through of the uh, of the settings or the, of the uh, USB DVR. The only other icons you'll want to worry about are going to be this the uh, view and playback button, which I just selected, and that takes you to the playback menu here. And this is a menu that you'll be using in order to uh, play back the video. Down here on the bottom you have 1 through 24 and those are the correspond to the time to the hours of the uh, day and over here is the color coding that will correspond to the type of uh, recording that was made